You know how we went and saw the last car and it was like this wholesome, nice story about how we bought it the day my son was born? Yeah, this is not gonna be that, that kind of video. So I just got here to 5523 Motorsports and um, this car has been an absolute nightmare for the greater portion of, I wanna say eight or nine years. It's been a long time. It was uh, <clears throat> picked up, undisclosed front body damage, uh, went to a shop for paint, really screwed up. Almost made it to SEMA three years ago, really screwed up. But it's in better shape now and uh, hopefully it'll be done soon. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go back in time a little bit. In order to really get a feel for what this car is, I need to explain some things to you. So, this is a 1968 Dotson 510 four-door. The trick is to make one that's both inexpensive and excellent. And this is a 1971 Skyline GTR, also known as a Hakusuka, or Hakuska, however you say it. So what we did is we took the front end of a 1971 Skyline GTR and put it on the body of a 1968 510. Blasphemy if you're a purist, but that's why we call it the Hako Bird. It's got the front end of the Hakuska and the back end of a Bluebird or a Datsun Bluebird. Mash them together, that's how you get the name. Before it was messed up, this is what it looked like. You can tell it was all ready for paint. It was beautiful. I was super, super excited. And then everything went sideways. Let's go back forward. Uh, the pen on the like so the engine's in. <clears throat> Almost a full car. I love you, Nick. Hi. We're all voyeurs. I have, I, like, I personally, I have no interest. None. Okay, so these brakes, they fucking suck. That's the nice version. 
Uh, the not so nice and complicated version is that they're not really going to work with our setup largely because of the way they're positioned and how they sit on the rotor. So we're gonna have to find a different solution for brakes uh, after I drive on these for 100,000 miles and likely have an accident. So. so mechanically speaking, the car is almost done. Engine's in, cooler, cooling system's in, brakes, fuel, everything's there. Except the paint and body really suck still. We're probably not gonna fix that. It's probably gonna get wrapped and I'm gonna drive it for a while first because I haven't driven that car in 10 years. Yeah. Ah. So it's kind of loud in there. There's, a, um, there's an air compressor that's going on at all times. The car, despite what it looks like, is actually really far along and it's gotten uh, really close to starting. I think we're gonna probably go to get it tuned not too long from now, which means first start and everything else after that is, is really on to the next phase. Nick and Jen do incredible work and the delay that's gone on in this project has largely been my mistakes and my learning and my growth in the car business. This is the first car I tried to build and uh, there were a lot of mistakes, but the work they have done is impeccably clean. It's not a show car. It's built to be a street and a race car, kind of have some fun with it but it's definitely not got like a wire tuck and it definitely doesn't have like the super polished vibe to it, but that was never the intent. The intent was to really, really drive the car. So hopefully the next time uh, we're here, it's the engine getting turned over for the first time and then getting tuned. And then after that, we're gonna finish up some final, final details and that's, that's all done.